today we're going to be revisiting the hydro shot now in my previous videos the first one i've done in 2019 and i've done another one in 2020 well it's 2021 and i've actually owned this three years so it'd be interesting to see what i really think about it three years later and is it still doing what it's supposed to be doing well that's a question well the first part of this video we'll have a look at what's in the box in the box you get a plastic bucket which is okay. You also get your main gun. Uh, you get an attachment with five different settings. You also get an extension pole, a brush, and you also get your extension pipe, which actually fits into a bucket or a pond and it floats. Also, you get a small battery this is the type of one that will only last around about an hour, give or take. There is an option for a larger battery if you want. Also, you get your battery charger, also a net, which is like an onion net to put all your bits and pieces in. And also you've got a snow foam gun as well. Now let's have a look at the gun itself. It's good quality plastic. Now I do find this part here a bit of a pain. It doesn't come out as easy. It gets stuck in there. Uh, I find it on with all of them, but it should just click straight back in and come out like that. Now it does have a button on the side here, whereas you can actually hold it in. And this holds in the gun. Also has a high and low on the top here, which to be honest, I don't usually use it on low. It's on high all the time. Moving on from that, the battery, it does go in very easy. It's just the click shape, comes out, goes in. That's very simple. Now in the three years I've had it, this is the same battery. And uh, by now I would have expected three years to be throwing this in the bin and getting a replacement, but it's still doing what it's supposed to do. And we'll get on to the rest of the video. And in the video, I'm showing you how I wash a car. Now bear this in mind, I bought this for one purpose only, just to take to the car shows, because when I get to the car shows, what I do find is the car might be dusty or it might pick up some rubbish before I do a main polish. So that's the only reason I bought this for. Now, at the end of the video, I'll give you a full blown what I think about this today and what I think it should have done with. I do have a list and we'll see at the end of the video for my final review. First of all, you get your extension piece, pop it in. That just connects like that. And then you can go for your snow gun. And again, that just connects on the end. Connect to the pipe onto the bottom. The pipe is exactly the same as you would an ordinary hose pipe, just connect it in. and the pipe then goes in to the bucket or a like that. Next thing guys, get out of your cannon and the gun and just prime it. And this is just letting the water through. There you go, and take a few goes. Pop your snow foam on. Right guys, now we're gonna snow foam. Right, I'm gonna show you now the other way. You can use the smaller bit if you don't want to use all that. And again,
the finishing touch. We've washed it, we've sn well, snow foamed it, washed it, and now the clean off with the spray. As you see. Just to let you know, guys, out of this container, there's that much water left. So that was full to start with, and there's that much water left. And that's to do a, a mini. Well, there you go, guys. A little bit of demonstration how to clean your car with the Hydroshot. Now, let's have a look at the good points and the bad points. This is the cheapest model you can buy on the market. So there's another two or three above this. So this is the lower one. And as I quite clearly point here, uh, I say it's not good on power. Well, yeah, well, they've got an update on this and again and again, which have actually got more power. Now, I just remember this little saying they're saying about on the side of the box, it quite clearly says 10 times the pressure. Well, to be honest, I don't quite believe what they say on that. It's good, but not that good. 10 times the pressure of what? Now, if you compare this with the third one they've got in the lineup, which is more powerful, it is strong. It's almost like having a power washer, but battery. Cleaning dirt off. Well, well, if it's hard and on, then don't bother. Now I have seen videos where people have took their four wheel drives and tried cleaning them with this. To be perfectly honest, if you've got a filthy four wheel drive or a car caked up, just take it to your local garage and get it sprayed off. Saves all that time. Just keep this for like the domestic use. And if I hear anybody mentioned, Steve, we haven't got a garage round us that got power washers. They're all over the place. They're all over the world. I went to Australia. They have little garages just set up for it, just for cleaning vehicles. You can go along, pop in your pennies, and out comes a wash. Okay, now to be perfectly honest, this is only a temporary measure. Well, the snow foam gun itself is pretty ropey. It's got no fall adjustment. And when you're using it with this, because this hasn't got the pressure it needs, you don't really get a lot of froth on your vehicle. Don't get me wrong, I did create the froth on my vehicle. That's only because I actually put, put it in more concentrate than we, you'd normally do. Using this with a hose pipe, great. It's, it's almost like a pressure washer, but it's only limited to the amount of water which will actually go through the gun itself. So there is a bit of a bottleneck. So if you've got 150 PSI trying to put it through this and this only comes out 75, you'll still only get 75 out of it. That's just the way it is. For people who haven't got water and electric I feel sorry for you guys but in saying that yes this is quite adequate for the job but if you've got a lot of heavy duty stuff to get off don't buy this one go for a better quality one altogether three years ago I was pretty limited to what I could buy and works was the only one available now today 2021 there's six or seven there may even be 10 brands doing the same type of thing and realistically i've not tried them all out so i couldn't tell you but um i'd swear by carter but i've seen the carter stuff the new stuff it ain't like it used to be so that might be a, a questionable thing Battery is great. It does do what it's supposed to do it does last a long time i can get a good hour on this battery using it cleaning the car so there that's brilliant now remember this is three years ago this battery's lasted well it's still keeping its charge so i'm really really happy with that but realistically if you're going to buy a battery get the 
bigger version to this. Okay, I'll give you a clue. These batteries aren't cheap to buy, even this size. The next one up on this, I vaguely remember, depending on the wattage, I believe it's around about 80 pounds. So if that's 170 quid, say, and 80 quid for that, mm. But generally speaking, if you're buying this, you're buying it for light use. Take for example, if I've been up the woods on my mountain bike and I come back and it's plastered, yeah, this is great to get the mud off straight away. If it's wet mud, it's fine. If you leave it caked on, then believe me, don't waste your time. Go, go and get yourself a pressure washer and clean it. But this is great for getting stuff straight off. So if you're on your mountain bikes and you take this with you and you've got a can of canister of water in your van or car or whatever, you put this on, you clean your bike off before you bring it home. That's great for that. And then when you get home, you can wash it properly, but at least this does do the job. And also if you want to clean off your welly boots, okay, it's a bit of a palaver. The one main thing I would say to this, when you're using the portable pipe that comes with it, it's the filters. The filters are a bit dodgy, but you have to keep cleaning them out. Because if the filter gets clogged up, the water doesn't go into the gun very well. So just remember that if you've bought one, or you're gonna buy one. It's like Karcher, they do this, do one as well. Whereas you could throw your whole pipe into a duck pond and it sucks out clean water. But the filter itself, the same principle, the filter with the works is exactly the same. It'll get clogged up and you have to clean it out so the water will run through nice. What's my verdict today? Should you buy one or not? Well. The thing is, I can tell you now, through the quality of the product, it's really, really good. And it is good value for money if you only want to clean your windows and do medial work with it. It will do your car, it'll do your van, it'll do your bike. There's not a problem. For me, it's been great for car shows, apart from, okay, we haven't been to so many car shows like we would have been doing because of obviously the COVID. So this becomes a bit useless. But in saying that, I have used this on several occasions, but I find myself, <laughs> no word of a lie, I find myself using the pipe that comes with it with a karcher. Because I've got electric at home, I put the pipe into the karcher and I use the karcher using distilled water. Now you ask me today, would I buy this today? No. And the only reason I wouldn't buy it today is because it hasn't got enough pressure. And that's the only reason. I would like some more power in it. So I would suggest if you want something that's got plenty of power, buy the next model up or the next model. But this one is low on power. Like I said, it's light and medial jobs. And if you own one, sorry guys, but this is what I think of it. It's, it's my own, I'm not paid by works or anybody else. I love this to bits, but I wouldn't buy it again. So out of 10, what would I actually give this? Well, I'm gonna say, I know what you lot are thinking. If you're the electric guys or what camp you're in, you're gonna think this is a little bit high, but it's not a 10. I'd say for the quality, it's gonna be a high number. It's been reliable. It's done what it's supposed to do. Okay, my expectations are probably higher than most people's. So I'm gonna say for what I use it for, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because it ticks all the boxes. So though I go low on other parts, my overall figure is nine. So my suggestion is if you want one, buy one. If you're not, and if you've got one of these guys and you've been using it for a while, what do you think about it? Just leave it in the link below the video and we'll, we can have a little bit of a chat about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's an update on my previous videos and we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters.